Now that we've been able to turn pixels on and off with the SSD 1306, let's talk about how do you draw text. It's also possible to draw circles and lines and that kind of thing on the screen. Uh, but really what we want to do is uh, be able to draw words and the values of variables so that we can debug. Right now our pick doesn't have the ability to send data to the computer unless you're using the debugger mode of the snap. The easiest way to get data out is going to be to print it to this LCD screen. So uh, let's take a look at what I've got the screen doing right now. Um, the top row is uh, letters of the alphabet. It's so tiny it's hard to focus on it. The next row is, uh, is numbers. The next row I've printed hello world because that's our traditional method of saying I have control over the screen. Then I'm printing the value of the variable i equals and then it's incrementing and the speed at which it's incrementing is as fast as it possibly can, in this case uh, 73 frames per second. So what do we actually have the capable capability of doing right now is uh, using the function uh, uh, draw pixel. And draw pixel takes in the x location, the y location, and I'll call it the color, but it's really should the pixel be on or off. And that's all we're really given with this uh, display. It doesn't have, it doesn't know what letters are, so we can't tell it print the letter A we have to say, oh, well, here's what A is. A is a bunch of pixels that are on and off in a certain pattern that we'll call bitmap. It's really an image. So we'll have to figure out what is the letter that we want to display, what is an image of that look like, and then we'll call this draw pixel function over and over to draw the letter as if it were a picture. Now I've got a piece of code we can look at that does that. It's not really code, um, but a, a big image. So in this file font.h, I've got a giant constant character array called ASCII. So when we are trying to draw uh, variables, we need to first take them and turn them into letters using the ASCII table. And then we can look up what is that letter look like as an image. So for instance, if I am trying to draw the ampersand character, that is hex 26 in ASCII. So these numbers in the comments here, those are the hexadecimal version um, of these characters. So if I'm looking at ampersand, the ampersand is made of this set of pixels that will draw an image. So that's a, this one's a little complicated. Let's look at hex 21, uh, the exclamation point. So this um, table is made of five col columns of uh, bits um, and every byte is 8 bits tall. So uh, this number is the first column in a 5-bit uh, wide and 8-bit deep image that will display the exclamation point. So if we think about the exclamation point in terms of dots, it's going to be two columns of no dots on, one middle column with dots on, and then two more columns that are off. So the first column is all off, the second column is all off, the third has pixels that are on, and then two more offs. And what is 5f look like? We'll look at our cal calculator in programmer mode. And I'll go to hexadecimal and look at 5f. So 5f in um, binary is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So if we were to take those bits and flip them up, um, kind of like rotate them to the left by 90 degrees, it would be on, 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 off, on, off. So those ons represent like the top of the uh, part of the exclamation point, and then the 0, 1, 0 represents the dot. Let's do that again on the board. So we've got uh, uh, this pixel map, this bitmap of every character, and um, it's five rows, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so each of these is a byte, and every byte, of course, is made of eight bits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one row of the ASCII uh, variable, so ASCII, for instance, ASCII of um, one, and then we have uh, zero through uh, four, possible columns. 
One here represents uh, 0x21, which is the exclamation point letter. So when we looked at these, the first two bytes were 0. The next one was uh, 5f, which was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and off and on. So those were the bits that were on, and then two more bytes of 0. So those uh, 0 through 4 bytes in the first row um, of the ASCII table. Okay. Sorry, I'm not drawing ASCII correctly. There we go. Um, that literally drew out that character. So in the ASCII table, I've got every drawable character, a bitmap that will draw it out as a 5 by 8. So what we will need to do in code is figure out uh, what is the string that we would like to draw, find the character in the string, go to the ASCII table to figure out what are the pixels that are on and off for that character, and then repetitively draw call draw pixel to turn those on and off. So from a big picture, uh, we are going to use the sprintf function to try to generate some text. So for instance, I could say sprintf into a variable called maybe m. Um, I want to say i equals the value of the variable i, so present d, and then I would say my variable i. So i is some integer, and it currently has you know a number in it. And m is going to be a character array. So before here, I would have to say char m with so many letters in it. I'll give it a nice big size of 50. We'll, we'll never need 50, but we'll just make it bigger than necessary. So we've got a message, a character array called m with 50 possible values in it. sprintf will now turn this into a character array and store it into m. And now I need to loop through every element of m to figure out uh, where is it in the ASCII table and then turn on all the pixels. So let's kind of jump to the bottom. Um, I have a character so I need to find it in the ASCII table. So if the character value is, say, um, uh, 21 in hex, that means I'm supposed to go to 1 here. So what I'm looking for is uh, ASCII of my uh, letter. So I'll call it letter minus hex of 20. So I need to kind of shift everything down by 20. So the exclamation point is hex 21, but it's the second element of our table, so I need to subtract that shift off. And then I need to loop over, let's say I'm looping over a variable called j. j is going to go from 0 to 4. So that's going to tell me uh, what is one of these columns to draw. So I'm going to loop over every column. And then I need to loop through every bit in ASCII to figure out should this be on, should this be on, should this be on. So that means I'm going to take this value of ASCII that I have, and I'm probably going to be shifting it by some other variable that I'm looping over. Maybe that's called k. So I'll loop k from uh, 0 to 7. And every time I will shift over by 1, I will probably need to and this with 1 so that I only get uh, one of the bits. And if that bit is a 1, I will call draw pixel to turn it on. Uh, so color would be 1, and if this value is 0, I would call the same thing with 0. So this is the, the like innermost part of all of the loops that you'll be doing. So that means we're looping over uh, k from uh, 0 to 7, and we're looping over j from 0 to 4. That goes through each column. And then letter is going to be every part of M. So we'll be saying uh, while um, M of some other number that we're iterating over, uh, let's call it, uh, I don't know, S uh, does not equal zero, we will call some function that we wrote called like draw letter, and we will send it M of S. So M of S is letter. 
and then we'll say s plus plus. And how does this automatically end? Well, when we use sprintf to make this character array, after it's done writing the last letter, it always inserts a zero as the next character. That's called the null character. That's how, that's how the string knows that it's been terminated. So if we keep looping through every letter in M, eventually we'll hit a zero and that's when we know to stop.